Hi there, so today I'm going to be doing a first impression of the new L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara. It's the Fatal one. This is a new addition to the Volume Million Lashes range. If you're familiar with this range, they do have, I think, kind of two or three different versions out. It's not a range that I particularly like. I'm a lot more into the Miss Manga, Miss Hippie, Miss Punky range. They're marketing this mascara as giving volume and length and they're saying that the little wand has multi-layered bristles to add flirty feminine volume so yes that's what i'm expecting if my lashes are not flirty and feminine and what was the other one voluminous i don't know whatever anyway they're saying it's going to give you a lot of volume and length so we're going to put that to the test and see the little bristles are rubber and it actually does surprise me how little they are then like when i say little i mean like they're super short it cost me 9.99 as well which i think is a little bit on the pricey side for a, <clears throat> a mascara and they also do make a claim that the formula is unique it's meant to give you like a smoldering really black smoldering look so again i'm expecting that obviously i'm expecting all of this okay so i'm just going to begin with this little eye here oh 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 okay so far it's a little bit clumpy little bit clumps clumps my favorite mascaras are made by l'oreal so i really do have high hopes for this one i can tell already that the formula seems pretty thick it reminds me a lot of the Miss uh, Punky mascara. The brush seems very similar in the sense that it's got lots of very short bristles to it that really do actually kind of grab hold of your lashes. Um, the problem that I'm finding, it's doing a really great job of grabbing hold of quite a lot of lashes at one time. Uh, it's definitely lengthening. Can you see? It's really, really lengthening there. Uh, but I do feel like these lashes, particularly at, on the outside, are uh, kind of, you know, clumping together. So I think that makes them look voluminous purely because they're clumping together. And when I try and correct it, look, there we go. So I've tried to correct that. So as you can see, they're not like as clumpy. And that's added a lot more of like a wispy volume. There's a video actually on the L'Oreal website featuring Kashul is it casual casual beauty and she's done three different looks using this mascara so I, and it did say on each look apply one coat of this mascara so i don't know if that's kind of the advice that you should just stick with one coat I, i'm not sure maybe they're aware that it gets clumpy if you apply more than one but okay i think that's kind of the best that i'm gonna do i mean i like it it's definitely well you can see it's given me a lot a lot there's a lot going on there okay so i'm just doing the other eye now so you can see and yeah the formula does seem to be very thick um i mean it's very easy to be precise with this wand i think because the bristles are so kind of rigid uh and this they're so short they really do just grab hold of the lash and coat the whole thing thing it's easy as well to correct any mistakes that you've made but i feel i feel, i mean i like it but i kind of feel like it's looking a little bit like messy and i feel like you can really manipulate your lashes to oh, i've just got a bit of my cheek you can really manipulate your lashes well to you know give you the kind of look that you want it did state on the website that you can kind of play with this wand to create different looks and i do think that's the case because i could either have it like looking a bit kind of you know all out to one side like this not the best description i know or i could kind of jiggle the wand about a bit and have a bit more of a like you know a bit more of a just can't think of any words to describe the situation I'm facing right now but you know what I mean you can kind of get a bit more like length so you could either create what I'm trying to say is you can easily create more volume or just create a bit more length by separating the lashes 
like if you separate them if you juggle your wand about a bit you can create the length but then if you want them to look a bit more voluminous and like sturdy you can kind of make them clump together I feel like if you've got already quite short lashes this will really be a good one because you can kind of manipulate them quite easily with this wand I feel like you have a lot of control over it so you can really kind of you know make your lashes look how you have always dreamed they could look I do my little trick that I always do I use my fingers as you know kind of budget eyelash curlers because why not I can already feel this mascara has actually dried it usually when I do my little eyelash curler trick I get loads of mascara on my hand but this mascara is actually a very dry one Um, I've got kind of minimal minimal uh, mascara on my hand which is I feel like if you're looking at my lashes now they just look a bit crispy do you know what I mean like a little bit crispy and dry and that's definitely how they feel as well and considering I only applied one coat to each lash uh, yeah not really what I like I'm just looking at them now thinking they look really crispy and artificial and I don't think it's definitely not the best mascara that I've ever tried I would definitely recommend if you want more of like a false slash but natural wispy look go for the L'Oreal Miss Manga Um, also another mascara I really like from L'Oreal and I would really recommend is the false lash sculpt and this is one that I would actually recommend as being very similar but better than this one because this one has like a butterfly wing shaped wand and I like the bristles on this are super super short and I feel like with this one you can get a really beautiful look um, but without all of this crispiness so I'd probably give this like 5 out of 10 it's not bad it's not my favorite I wouldn't particularly recommend this unless this is a look you go for mascara like foundation is just very much kind of you know what works for one person won't necessarily work for someone else I think it's it all kind of comes down to what kind of look you enjoy um so if you like this look then great but it's just not my favorite it looks a little bit kind of messy and just I don't know I'm just not liking it so anyway yeah nice packaging though I would say but anyway I'm going to go now. Thank you as always for watching and I'll be back with more reviews.